We're at Los Arbolitos and we're gonna go snorkeling, which is right outside of Cabo Plumo. Ooh, a little windy. We're getting after it. Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Over the last six months, Kevin and I have traveled from the east coast to the west, visiting the warm sunny coastlines to the snow-covered mountains. Now it's time for a new adventure. Join us as we head south to Mexico to explore Baja, California. Subscribe and we'll see you every Tuesday. We just air downed our tires and it's already a little bit quieter. We just only went about one tenth of a mile, but it wasn't as rattly inside. So hopefully it's a little bit smoother as we go further northeast. And uh, we got, I don't know, I think like 30 kilometers to go on this. 33 so, by that sign. Yeah, 33. So we'll see how it goes. But we're following, uh, we're following Greg and Jess from Drifter Journey. We're hanging out with them along the East Cape as we uh, press further northeast. In the National Park of Cabo Pomo, there's a small little town which we thought we were gonna be able to snorkel around. But we quickly learned that you need to be on a group tour or charter a boat to snorkel to some of those spots. So we headed back south to Playa El Arbolito where you do have to pay to enter, but you can just swim right from the beach and snorkel and check out some good spots. So that's what we did. We're at Los Arbolitos and we're gonna go snorkeling, which is right outside of Cabo Plumo. And the snorkel is supposed to be pretty good here. The ocean is really calm, the wind's light, so hoping there's good visibility, but we'll see. Taylor's gonna be getting her tan on on the beach. You know it, maybe reply to some emails, get a little work done. We have some service here, which is gonna be really nice, even though I still can't connect on my phone, must be nice. Um, you can too, you just can't get on one app. Yeah, I can't get on a critical one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the GoPro out, so let's see if we can get some fish. All right, ooh, a little windy. We're getting after it. Nice day. All right, how's it look?
So today Kevin, Greg, and Jess from Drifter Journey are snorkeling. I'm not really huge into snorkeling, so I am just going to enjoy the beach and read my book. However, if you haven't checked out Drifter Journey, check them out. They have a great channel, great people, great content. Just all around good stuff, so check them out. After snorkeling, we headed north to La Ribera, which is a really cool small local town that doesn't really have any tourist industry with it. But we stopped here to camp for the night and try some local restaurants. So you get your taco, and then you head right over there for all your toppings. Gracias. Gracias. Where are you from? Uh, Los Estados Unidos, New Jersey. Vacation? Oh, uh. uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> so menos, for, uh, how do you say month? <laughs> Not gonna lie, we need to give credit where credit is due. So we wouldn't have luckily came here without Greg and Jess. So kudos to those guys for getting us out of our comfort zone. Even though we couldn't completely communicate too well, we were able to try some local dishes and the food was delicious. Right. Tacos de pastor. See? It's bueno. <laughs> I know. They have no chicken. Alright. To the on next, to the next one. Place? Tacos de pescada. Uh, maybe. Apple pies, okay. Yeah. Quantos pesos? 50 pesos. Oh, sí. Okay, 50 pesos. Yes, we could buy you. You got a bunch up here? Uh, Banana. Sí. Oh. Ooh, gracias. Oh. Cute. Hola, niño. Crema pastelera y no. Gracias. Sí, a ustedes. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Cien pesos? Cien. So we, so we just got out of the pastry shop and I think we bought a banana bread, a donut, a muffin, a, muffin, a, croissant, a croissant, and a cinnamon roll. And a cinnamon roll. Guess how much? A hundred pesos, which is about five dollars. I am so excited for dessert. So many goodies and such a sweet lady. So we are just on a kick. Honestly, thanks to Greg and Jess. Yeah, we wouldn't have known. Who took us to two taco spots. There was one kind of gringo prices, which was really nice. But we went to kind of like the hole in the wall shacks. And I'm actually pretty pumped that we did go to them instead. One, it was way cheaper, like a dollar a taco. Mm -hmm. And then this pastry shop that we just went to was so cheap as well. And the lady was so nice. So, so nice. it's cool to go to like the spots where you probably wouldn't think to go in originally, but I think you get more of an authentic experience there. Let's go. 
All right, so we just pulled up to the beach at La Ribera, and we have this V formation of the vans, which is gonna be cool. That right behind me is the Sea of Cortez. We're hoping it's not gonna to get too rowdy tonight, but we're starting to see the locals pile in, and we might be faced with some crazy loud music tonight, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's distance from us and we won't be blasted out. But time to eat some local cuisine. Do you remember what this thing is called? It's called a pepino prepar preparato or something like that. Thank you, Jess. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so this is a cucumber, mango, sugar candy stuff, onion, no, jicama. Jicama? Yeah, no. it's that. Um, oh, is that fruit that, that fruit we had? Yesterday. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cheers you guys, and we'll eat it together. So we'll just wait. <laughs> On this, like that. No, no. Over. You just shove the whole top in your mouth. Oh, okay. And <laughs> Kevin says, "Oh, that's doable." Is it spicy? <laughs> Am I gonna get slammed? No, I mean, it got kicked. Don't let it hit your throat wrong. <laughs> Great. It's not spicy like what we had at dinner. Here we go. I don't even know where to begin. What's this little peanut looking thing? That peanut? Is a peanut. It's a peanut. Cool. Put, like, With a little candy shell on it. Yeah. I don't know how, if I'm going to make it. My lips are a little sunburned. It'll be fine. <laughs> I do think it would be easier to eat if it was in smaller pieces. Pretty tiny, huh? What are your thoughts? There's a lot going on. He hates it. No. It's like... I don't like the clamato part. The rest of it woo. I like. There's like a spice hit. Then there's like, I just got like a... Yeah, the little red candies. Like yeah, those like a good. gummy. I like yeah, those. Little, yeah, those are little gummies with the same tangy stuff on them. It's okay. It's just a tahina thing. And a valentina probably. Yeah. So what are our overall opinions of this treat? I like it, but I don't know if I'd buy it again. Mm -hmm. For two fifty though? You're looking to put some meal in your stomach? I'd probably buy it again. Kev? For 60 pesos you can get two fish tacos. And this was 50. Yeah, I'd definitely go tacos over this, but yeah. I would try it if you never had it before. Are you eating any? Oh yeah. Mm -mm. You got it. I'm not huge into cucumbers to begin with. Do you want a scoop of the like the gummy and whatnot? Oh yeah, you should at least have a spoonful of that stuff. Cause it's just mango and jicama. All right, fine. I'll try that stuff. I'm gonna get myself a spoon here. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, get a big scoop of this though. So. Make sure you get that gummy though. Is that the gummy? Yeah. Oh, and you got yeah, and you got peanut. What yeah. are those? Onions? No, jicama. Oh. Well, that's all we have yesterday. Yeah, but this is with flavor on Whoa. it now. <laughs> I like the gummy. The gummy is the best part. It's the tomato juice that throws me off. Yeah. Mm. I don't like that part. The jicama is good. <laughs> Did you get that first bite again? Yeah, unfortunately this is only 28 though. If I had the 35, it would have <laughs> been a lot better. Oh my God. I mean, classy. it's perfect. We'll have to zoom in on that. <laughs> Thoughts? Good. Better than the first one? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My mouth is adjusted. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're going to do a little donut review, but in Mexico. It lives on? A, yeah, sure does. It's a little different than the original donut review. Usually they're uh, vanilla glaze. This is a sugar coated. Um, but, I mean, still looking pretty good. Looks a little more fried than the ones we're used to. I think it's going to give me a good crunch. I was wrong on the country. <laughs> um, it smells like a funnel cake when you bite into it. it tastes like a dough ball. Um, good or bad? Not that good. No? It has a little bit of an oily taste. And it's very thick. Yeah, cakey it looks like. Yeah, you're probably not gonna like it, but yeah. you can give it a go. We got banana bread. 
and this more. This one's gonna be bomb. She cooked this straight from the heart. Oh yeah, definitely not dots. Mmm. Do you taste like the oily? Mm-hmm. It's got like a canola oil taste. It's a really dense funnel cake. The most dense funnel cake you ever had in your life. This is probably the last bite. Yeah. But it's also, uh, give her the benefit of the doubt, it's like 5 o'clock p.m., so. Any takers on wanting to try the dense funnel cake cookie? Donut. <laughs> I mean, donut. All right. I'm going to a cucumber. Sounds like you guys aren't impressed. You want to give it a go? You can see if our, our uh, we usually find comparison the, is good. We usually buy a bunch of stuff from those places, and we're like, yeah. Yeah. But it's so cheap, you're like, I got to try it. Oh, yeah, it is thick, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me, I'll try a piece of tear it off. Mm. Very dry. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I could swallow that. <laughs> you take more than that. No, this is for Greg. Ew, no. You're probably not going to be able to taste it after all that. Yeah, yeah. seriously. It's just going to taste like a roll. Yeah, I wonder why that consistency is like that. It looked very promising. Yeah, mm. it did. I almost bought one. I agree with the, the funnel cake. It definitely smells like a funnel cake. Yeah. Italian bread. <laughs> if more sugar, I think I'd be happy. <laughs> now, where the real fun starts is this banana bread, though, because this, I mean, this looks like her, one of her expert recipes. Still moist. I know, I hate that word. Oh, yeah. This is where it's at. If it's just good, it's the banana bread on Maui, Maui on the road to Hana. Oh, this is really good. But it's really good. We got some golden hour right now. This, my friends, is what happens when you go five days with no service. We're all just catching up. <laughs> There's a lot to catch up on. Anywho, it is 7.14, and I think we're all about done for the day. So we are checking in for the night, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys. We took a one day break from vlogging and we had a working day yesterday with Greg and Jess and explored the town of La Ribera. Last night we tried some food that we probably wouldn't have tried if we weren't for them. So thank you Greg and Jess if you're watching this. Uh, it was pretty good though. It but it was kind of just like on the side of someone's house and we did a little street vendor for a little dessert which was Interesting. It was different. It was good though. It was a sweet potato with uh, condensed milk on top and plantains. And we had no issues with uh, un upset stomachs or anything like that. So everything worked out good. So we'll become more uh, adventurous now that we got some experiences under our belt. But it is time to part ways. We are getting ready to go to Cabo to go into a hotel since we're flying home and we need to get tested now to enter the United States again with the new rules that are in place. So we're going to a nice hotel. We're using points to do that. We're not paying cash. But before that, we're checking in tomorrow. We're going to try and check out San Jose del Cabo. Yeah, it's about an hour and a half to get there. So we'll see how, how it goes. So we have officially been at the Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer line. There's a little spot 
from La Ribera to San Jose del Cabo. It's a little visitor center here. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. So we've been on the Arctic Circle line as well. Yeah. So it would have yeah. been cool if we took the van all the way there, but we gotta go to Alaska for that, so I don't know if that's happening. But and really far the van Alaska. has been all the way down to the Tropic of Cancer line, which is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. All right, well, now we'll go further down to San Jose. After stopping at the Tropic of Cancer, we got laundry service and headed to the beach until it was done. The biggest dilemma of the day was trying to figure out where to sleep for Holy Week since the beaches near Cabo were closed at night. Luckily we made it to the East Cape which is just far enough out of town not to worry. We even saw some kiddos riding a wild burrow which was crazy. Anyways that's all for this episode and thanks so much for watching. Join us on Tuesday where we trade the van for a one bedroom villa at a hotel overlooking the arch.